I have here a Spider-Man figure from the first, I'm sorry, the second Spider-Man movie from 2004, and it is Rapid Punch Spider-Man with the Punching Bag, official movie merchandise. You can see right there, there's a uh, description of the toy, but uh, you'll notice he's not wearing his uh, punching pack thing that you're supposed to pull the string out and it causes him to punch. He's not wearing that, so I think that's a uh, design error in this uh, description here. So over the top of the box, we have the awesome Spider-Man 2 movie merchandise pose for all the toys, uh, ages 4 and up. There's the figure, very nice and detailed, with real punching action. Mr. Jamison on the punching bag. Uh, it's really cool that they actually took a picture of the Mr. Jamison figure from the first movie and just copy and pasted a sticker on and stuck it to this thing because it's basic that's what it basically is uh, this is actually a pretty funny toy when you think about it spider-man punching a punching bag of mr jameson's figure on it i mean that's 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 pretty funny they actually made this into a toy that's that's funny I apologize for the extra noise there uh, noise there's a train going by um here you have the spider insignia this was on every little to focus there we go this was on every piece of spider-man 2 merchandise they had that little spider symbol at the end there very nice attention to detail as well as these black lines um it's pretty standard stuff for the time and so for his punching pack it's the same color as his suit the same texture and everything uh, i can see why they do th why they did that at the same time though it's just like it's a deformity type thing on him honestly but oh oh well and uh, as far as I know the punching pack cannot be removed um, but the picture will tell you different but that's not what you can do apologize for the zooming in and out of focus my camera kind of sucks but there's a side view of his punching pack um, geez if this thing would focus that'd be great my bad. So there is his uh, little lever, or the pull cord, the plastic at the end there. So I think what you're supposed to do is you pull the cord out and he punches the punching bag, and we'll see on the back. You are welcome to read that if you so wish. You can pause the video, but I'm going to move along. Little graphic of Spider-Man up there. So... For the instructions, number one, pull back string until you hear a click. Two, press release button to activate rapid punch action. And then we'll get to that. What happens after you do so. I guess that was it, so collect them all. Here's Aerial Flipping Spider-Man, which I do not have. Superposable Spider-Man, which I do have. Rapid Punch Spider-Man, which I have. I honestly don't know why they included the one that came with the box maybe they did that with every single one of them zipline spider-man oh sorry shoot and slide spider-man which i do have a description of what it is the toy biz toll free customer service number which don't even bother calling that because toy biz has since been out of business for many 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 years yeah they they don't exist anymore Proof of purchase right down there rapid punching spider-man under that barcode um, UPC number. So I work in retail, so I know how to, I know how to read those and find items on shelves. Um, copyright 2004, Marvel Enterprise, made in China. Item number 43806. Some assembly required. We constantly improve and update our products. Sometimes as a result of these improvements, what is seen on the package may differ somewhat in color and content from the product inside. Well, they are not wrong on that one. Down there at the very bottom, the Spider-Man merchandising logo, which I have always loved, and then the Columbia Pictures logo. And then the Spider-Man 2 word border. Oh, shoot, I am sorry about that. The camera's going freaking nuts. Recreate your Spider-Man 2... Your favorite Spider-Man 2 web slinging action with all of these amazing Spider-Man products. This is just a catalog on the bottom. That's all. That's all that really is. Um, 
And no, I'm never opening this because it was kind of an expensive product and it's for my collection because as a kid, I opened these up and played with them. But as an adult, I just like to display them on my wall and I think it looks nice. So yeah, this, this goes on the wall. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's the top part of the catalog. It's advertising a Spider-Man 2 bubble shooter, which I'm pretty sure I had. And the last thing we look at on both sides is just a description of what the figure does and the Toy Biz logo. So yes, that is Rapid Punch Spider-Man from the Spider-Man 2 toy line introduced in 2004 for the Spider-Man 2 movie. Um, just a quick bit of information. These figures are rising in price so much that it's almost unaffordable to collect Spider-Man 2 merchandise anymore. Uh, I got lucky with this one. I didn't pay too much. And uh, by the way, the box just looks absolutely great. The guy packed it in bubble wrap. So um, yeah, whoever, if, if the person that sent this out to me is watching, thanks for packing this thing so well. It looks great. But yeah, it's it's a really too bad because I, I love Spider-Man too much. I love collecting it. And the fact that these figures are just becoming uh, unreachable anymore at a good price is just sad. And the movie isn't even 20 years old. I mean, I kid you not, I was seeing some Spider-Mans that looked not much different from this that were going for like $400, $500. Uh, somebody was selling a Doc Ock figure that I have for $1,000 new like this and i'm just like why no you know nobody's ever gonna buy that you gotta lower your price you get a buy it's it's just stupid i know i know ebay is free market but just some of the people on there that are selling this stuff for that high price it's just stupid come on anyway thanks for watching i have a couple more figures that are still in box uh one from spider-man 3 and then i have a harry potter action figure from 2001 that i picked up uh, from another state that I was in and that I would love to do a video on and uh, that's all I got so far for box things but um yeah thanks for watching